S'more Outdoor, Episode 16. Welcome to S'more Outdoor, where we speak with authors, entrepreneurs, and business owners about how the outdoors has affected their life and their projects. This show is to remind you of the healing properties of the outdoors. So are you ready to learn what the nature effect can do for your life? Well, here's your host, Brett Trout. Hello and welcome to another episode of S'more Outdoor. I'm your host and personal outdoor advocate, Brett Trout, and this is a show dedicated to reminding you to get out and experience the nature effect. My goal is to help you reestablish your connection with nature so that you can start living with childlike wonder again. So a few updates before we get started with today's show. Thank you so much to those of you who have left rating and reviews in iTunes, and also to those of you who have shared my show with others. I'm so honored. I've gotten a lot of feedback from the show. I've also recently launched my YouTube channel and currently just have uh, videos of the podcast recordings, but I'll also be taping shows out when I'm out in the field, like in Yosemite and Sequoia, so you can see where I'm at. And I have uh, last week's show actually is up on there. So eventually I'll be sharing more tips over there. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to back off from creating these in-depth shows uh, for the podcast. So the Friday topic episodes, they just take a lot of my time to research and prepare for. And I can get lost on the internet and I want to be perfect and all these different things. So it just my time, I need to be spent doing some other things for the business as well. So going forward, I'm going to be producing these in-depth shows probably every other week uh, to start off with. And then also introducing shows uh, with things that I think you might like and how they all relate to your life. Uh, it's important for me to continue to provide value for you guys on this show. So jumping right into today's episode, today's episode is called How to Stay Healthy and Why I Haven't Been Sick in Four Years. So in the last three topic episodes, I've talked about the importance of reducing stress in your life and how the impact of stress, uh, I guess how the impact of stress um, has an effect on your immune system. So today I want to dive into sharing how spending time outdoors has had an impact on my health and how it can potentially help you stay healthy as well. So none of us really like to get sick. I mean, it's, it's such an awful feeling and obviously one that we would prefer not to experience if we didn't have to. You know, sickness, whether you, it's from a cold, the flu, or even uh, food poisoning, isn't really enjoyable. And for a few days of constant sweats and chills, followed by a few weeks of runny noses and sore throats, you know, who doesn't want to deal with that? Or who what does want to deal with that? When you're sick, you usually promise to take better care of yourself. You know, however your body reacts to being sick, you can help to reduce your chances of being sick by doing a couple things that I found to help in my life, which I'm here to share with you today. And it really comes down to, in the end, to really one thing. And Richard Louvre, in his book, The Nature Principle, calls this vitamin N, or which N stands for nature. And to me, what vitamin N means is all aspects of nature, and that includes what I eat. You know, so I don't remember really the last time that I was sick from a cold or when I got the flu, but the last time I was sick was actually from food poisoning. And if you've ever had food poisoning, you know that awful feeling that you get, and it's just like having the flu. It probably is the flu, but I didn't do any research on that, so I don't know for sure. But this last time I was at a corporate event, the last time I was sick, I was at a corporate event in Seattle with a company that I worked for. And on the last day before we were getting ready to go home, a few of us wanted to get some lunch downtown Seattle. And so we went down near uh, Pike's Place Fish Market to have lunch. Now, when we got there, I was like, you know, what am I going to have today? Decision, 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 right? And I saw that they were having this specialty of salmon soup. Now, I love salmon. And I'd never had fish soup before. You know, I've had clam chowder but I never had fish soup. So I decided to go for it. Man, that was a big mistake. So I don't, and I don't know what it was, but after getting halfway through, it just wasn't sitting right with me. You know, I immediately started to feel a little off. And by the time that we arrived at the airport, I just couldn't hold it back anymore. You know, I knew that I wasn't done too. You know, after, after the food came back up, after throwing up, basically, I knew that I wasn't done and and was really dreading the plane ride back to Bakersfield. So needless to say, 
and I'm not proud of this, but they had to shut down one of the lavatories on the plane because of me. And what I had found out that in these bathrooms, there's only enough room to take care of normal business and not what I needed it for. There was no room for me to kneel down. And so you can only imagine how it turned out. It wasn't very pretty. So after that, I was sick for the next four days. But for that first 24 hours, man, that was just the worst. And I really don't do good when I'm sick, man. I am, I complain. I, it's just awful. But uh, up until that point, I hadn't really been taking care of my body the way that I know I should have been taking care of it. You know, we were eating out all the time. We weren't eating great food. I wasn't getting enough of the veggies and fruits that I needed to get into my body. And so a few weeks after that trip, you know, I just made a decision to start adding more fruit and veggies into my life because I needed to get healthy so that I was prepared for anything that might knock me down. You know, like I said, I don't like being sick and I don't think you do either, but I just needed to make sure that I started taking care of myself. So what I did was I started uh, blending up fruits uh, and fresh squeezing orange juice into smoothies in the morning. And eventually, you know, that led to me creating my own veggie juice concoction. And since then, since I started taking in the veggies and fruits, you know, I haven't been sick. And like I said, that was four years ago. But one thing that I really found out too was that and now I spent a lot of time outdoors and, and, you know, I didn't understand the impact that the outdoors was having on my health as well. But obviously drinking more fruits and veggies, that had a huge impact on my health. But it wasn't until I read a story about a guy named Galen Clark that it really gave me that aha moment about the outdoors. Because like I said, before I read him, I hadn't been getting my daily dose of fruits and veggies, but I was spending that time outdoors. Now, the combination of the two, getting more greens into my life, into my body, and spending time outdoors is what I believe has made a huge difference in my life and why I haven't been sick. So let me get back to Galen. Galen, he was diagnosed with uh, what they called at the time consumption, but we know it as tuberculosis, when he was 39. And the doctors at the time told him he had about six months to live. And this was back in 1856. They didn't have a treatment for consumption, tuberculosis. So they, they basically told him the best thing that he could do was get out in nature. So Galen said, I went to the mountains to take my chances of dying or growing better, which I thought were about even. So he ended up moving to Wawona, California, uh, near the giant grove of sequoia trees. Uh, we call them now, or they're referred to now as the Mariposa Grove in Yosemite National Park. And the amazing thing is, is that he had six months to live, but he lived another 51 years. He ended up passing at 92. So I tell you this story and how spending time outdoors has had an impact on my health to share with you why it happens and really to share with you what I found out about a couple different compounds that are produced in nature that, improve, that can improve your health and hopefully keep you from getting sick in the future as well. I talked about one of these in last week's episode, How to Get Healthy by Relieving Stress to Reduce Cortisol. And then one comes from the book, uh, Richard Louv's book, The Nature Principle. Now, I can't guarantee that you won't get sick, but from my own experience, and then once my wife joined me in drinking fruit smoothies and veggie drinks and getting outdoors more, she also hasn't been sick in the last three years. So I can only assume that it'll work for you too. So the first one is what's called phytoncides. They're antimicrobial, and I'll probably hack this, allelochemic volatile organic compounds that are derived from plants. So they mean, it, the word means exterminated by the plant and was coined in 1928 by Dr. Boris P. Tokin, who is a Russian biochemist from Leningrad University. So basically, they're organic compounds plants produce and release to protect themselves from insects, fungi, bacteria, and other germs. They release these compounds to help purify the air. And they work by preventing growth of attacking organisms. So there was a study done in Taiwan where they found this constituents of phytoncides. And the research confirms that one particular phytoncide called the limonene 
promotes sleep and helps fight anxiety and ease pain. So if, if you've listened to the other shows, you'll know that just by reducing stress, you can get better sleep and, you know, reduce anxiety. And so it talked about like, this is the reason why that getting out in nature can help uh, induce these effects. So walking in forest areas and breathing these these phytoncines that are emitted from the trees is, is not only pleasant and refreshing, but also beneficial for stress management and relaxation. And they also say that exposure to essential oils, which are the fragrances from the fruits and the trees, has been reported to improve anxiety and depression, uh, reduce sympathetic activity under stress, and reduce blood pressure. So the next one that was in the one that I found from Richard's book is called Mycobacteria Mvase. Now, Mvase is a non-pathogenic species of the Mycobacteriaceae family of bacteria that lives naturally in soil. Uh, the drug-like effects of this bacteria, they were actually discovered by accident. So there was an oncologist at the Royal Marsden Hospital in London by the name of Mary O'Brien. And she knew a little bit about it, but she created a serum out of this bacteria and gave it to the patients with, uh, that she was treating with lung cancer. She thought that it might help to boost their immune system. But instead, what she found out was that these patients became more energetic, they felt happier, and they suffered from less pain than those who didn't receive the injection of the bacteria. So after her initial report that she released on this, more studies were conducted and it really went into the direction of, okay, what's going on in our bodies and how else can this bacteria be good for us? So I came across another article in, in Discovery Magazine that references a few different things. They share some of these studies that have been done. And they say, and I found this interesting, so I wanted to include this in there, in here today. They say that some researchers have proposed that the sharp rise in asthma and allergy cases over the past century stems unexpectedly from living too clean, they say. The idea is that routine exposure to harmless microorganisms in the environment, soil bacteria for instance, trains our immune systems to ignore benign molecules like pollen or dandruff from a neighbor's dog. You know, I've always believed this. You know, when I used to work in retail and manage employees, some of them were just fanatical about using hand sanitizer. You know, I never did. And you know what? They ended up getting sick when the cold and flu season came around. Now, don't get me wrong. I'd wash my hands when I was taught to and, and when I needed to use hand sanitizer. But I never went overboard with it because I believed that, and also because I grew up around the time before antibacterial soaps and hand sanitizers were, were really a part of our daily lives. But the interaction with people and being outside, I felt helped build my immune system, helped me, I guess, fight the diseases that were coming into my life or to fight the stuff that was going to make me sick, in essence. So in this article, they also go on to share how a gentleman by the name of Christopher Lowry, who is a neuroscientist at the University of Bristol in England, he studied the bacteria and said, the results so far suggest that simply inhaling M. Basse, you get a dose by taking a walk in the wild or rooting around in the garden, could help elicit a jolly state of mind. And according to Lowry, he says, you can also ingest mycobacteria either through water sources or through eating plants, you know, like lettuce that you pick from the garden or carrots. They reference another gentleman by the name of Graham Rook. He was a, an immunologist at the University College London and adds, depression may be an inflammatory disorder and that by triggering the production of immune cells that curb the inflammatory reaction of typical allergies, m may ease the inflammation and hence depression. Therapy with m or with drugs based on the bacterium's molecular components may someday be used to treat depression. So scientists from another study on the PubMed site say, we show that mice fed live Mbase prior to and during a maze learning task demonstrated a reduction in anxiety-related behaviors and maze completion time when tested at three maze difficulty levels over 12 trials for four weeks. So the treated mice given Mbase in the reward completed the maze twice as fast as controls and with reduced anxiety-related behaviors. 
So not only is ingesting more green food good for you, I've covered how reducing stress boosts your immune system and why the outdoors helps you to reduce stress. Now you can see how the phytoncides and mycobacterium base that you take in really help in these areas as well. So this is why forest bathing is such a great idea. And just spending that time outside will have a huge impact in your life and your health. And your body's an amazing thing, and it has the power to heal itself from certain ailments. And really a lot of the sickness that we experience can come from what we put in our body and the stress that we experience in our daily lives. You know, I can't guarantee that you'll never get sick again or that spending time outdoors will cure whatever ailments you have. But I do know there's something powerful outside and that you won't experience it if you don't get out and play. We've covered a lot of ground about how the outdoors can help reduce stress so you can sleep better, the causes of stress in your life, the relationship between stress and your cortisol levels, and and if you remember how how reducing cortisol helps to keep you healthy and its impact on your mind and body. And today is just another reason why and how the outdoors can help boost your immune system and lead you to a healthier life. So what do you think about today's topic? You know, you can let me know by commenting on this episode at smoreoutdoor.com forward slash how to stay healthy or by sending an email to brett at smoreoutdoor.com. I'd love to hear from you. So that's it for today's episode of S'more Outdoor. And I'm just excited that you're here, that I'm here, and that I get to share my love of the outdoors and how it's had an impact in my life and how it can have an impact in yours too. So a few things before I go. You can head on over to smoreoutdoor.com to see a recap of today's show. And if you'd like to stay updated with new episodes, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe to the podcast and leave a rating and review. What this does is it helps to get the show noticed so that others like you and I can learn about how the nature effect can have an impact in their lives and become inspired by the topics that I share with you today. So I hope today's show has inspired you to reconnect with nature and start living with that childlike wonder again so you can stay healthy and potentially reduce your chances of getting sick. So thanks for tuning in to the show that's changing lives around the world. Until next time, I challenge you to do something this week to get s'more outdoor. 